Hello everybody, it's Wendy, and today I have for you the rest of the stuff that Mia sent. <laughs> so, we've done bicones, we've done um, gemstones, we've done gemstone focals, we did, I think, rondelles and pearls. And now I'm going to show you everything else that she sent. Um, and I want to give a shout out to my subscriber, Lipstick Envy. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving me the tips on my camera. Um... She told me that I need to use a natural wood background, which I got this natural wood tray, but I think it's going to be too reflective to do this with, but I'm going to start taking my pictures on it, and hopefully that will help. Um, but I put on a lighter background, a more neutral tone. It's kind of just a light pink, and hopefully that will help the colors of my camera to be better. So thank you so much for that. Um, okay. So, as you all, if you've been watching my channel, you know that Mia sent me a huge box full of stuff, and I am so thankful for it, and I've been showing you guys bit by bit what she sent, just because I think it's cool to see, you know, from other people what they get, and, you know, you see new products that way, and it's just really nice. So, I've been showing everybody what Mia sent me. So this is like the fourth video <laughs> and I'm just going to wrap it up with this one and show you everything else if I can um, in this video. So we'll go ahead and get started. So first off, she sent this huge bag of glitter and I love this so much because I do a lot of resin um, stuff and this fine glitter is absolutely awesome for resin. So there's a ton of it in here in all different colors. I mean, look at this. So thank you so much, Mia. I love this. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, I make kids keychains. I make mermaid tails with this resin. Little mermaid tails for the little girls' um, necklaces. Um, just all kinds of stuff. So I'm really excited to get this glitter. So thank you so much for that. And I'm going to put this away real quick. Okay, and then um, she sent some fire polish beads. Now, these are absolutely beautiful, and this is a teal color here, but I love fire polish. They're so pretty. Um, you know, they just sparkle so pretty, so she sent teal. I'm not going to open them each one because you can see them through the packages, but I just wanted to open that one so you could see the sparkle. Teal, this brown color. These are a four millimeter, and these are six. This is called Pale Transparent Sapphire. That is a beautiful color right there. Look at those. Um, this one is Amethyst. These are disc beads, which I thought were really cool. Look at these. So they're like faceted on the sides, but they're a disc. If you can see that. Really awesome. And I've seen these before, but I don't think I have any. So, really neat. And um, here's some more fire polish. This looks like a light, yeah, light amethyst. And then we have an AB, an amethyst AB. Yep. Look how pretty and sparkly those are. I might have to take these out and show you. Look at that. Oh my goodness. They're beautiful. Okay. And then this one is a... Light Amethyst Pale. Huh, that's very pale. They're very pretty, though. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous fire polish beads. Okay. And then, these are all just glass beads that didn't go in either the pearl category or the bicone category or the gemstone category. So, I thought these were really cool. I don't know if these are like a polymer clay or what, but they're 20 millimeter. <laughs> And, no, they're glass. They're definitely not polymer clay. But look, they're faceted. Those are really cool. Um, so there's those. And then these are just some small 4 millimeter glass white beads. Or clear beads. These are beautiful. These are like a, I don't know what these are called. Splatter, maybe? Or paint splatter beads? But they're beautiful. And there's purple in those. These are like a marble looking really like those too. Then we have some small red and green little four millimeter rounds. Six millimeter. This is like a amethyst and white. 
Okay. Uh, four millimeter white. These little four millimeter beads are very handy to have too. Now these are cool. These are, it says tiger skin, which is really neat. Look at this. Aren't those pretty? They almost look like a gemstone bead. I don't guess they are. It just says tiger skin glass. So you guys, if somebody knows if these are a gemstone, let me know. They're very cool. Uh, these are pink, little pink three millimeter, I think. No, four millimeter. Four millimeter glass. These are four millimeter. Yeah, looks like a kind of an off white. These were pretty, I thought. These are like a turquoise blue and they're coated in something. They almost feel rubbery, but they're glass. You can hear them. <laughs> but they almost have a rubbery feel to them. Mia comes up with some of the coolest beads. <laughs> she really does. I like those. And then these I thought were really pretty too. These are just, just glass, but black and white, like almost like marble looking. Really, really pretty. And these are some six millimeter glass rounds. Uh, this says jade glass. And again, I don't know how to tell if it's a gemstone or not. Um, six millimeter glass. These again are kind of the marble looking ones. Let me, I'll take these out if I can here. I'll cut them. I'll put them in a little zippy bag. I just want you to see the pattern on them. Look at those. Aren't they cool? <laughs> they almost look like dragon vein agate. Really, really pretty. Let me set them aside here so they won't. Okay, and then these. Look at these. These are really cool, too. Look at those. Really pretty. Six millimeter glass blue crackle. Really gorgeous beads. And these. I think we had these a minute ago. These are like a four millimeter little milky white. Here's some more of the black and white ones. And these are a crackle glass in just crystal, but they're cool too. Okay, and then little tiny, looks like three millimeter. These almost look like opalite. I don't know if they are. I think they are. Really pretty. And then she sent some other cool things. Here are some wooden beads, wooden barrel-like beads. And these are like plastic discs. I guess they're like spacers, clay disc it says. Those are really cool. I love these colors, too. The bright neons. These are large hole beads. Look how pretty these are. Wow. And I have a couple tutorials of things you can do with large hole beads. There's an earring tutorial. There's a necklace you can make with these. I'll have to do a tutorial on that. I haven't done it. Um, and the um, chunky charm that I just did, I used some of these large hole beads on. These are uh, rhinestone spacers, which I absolutely love. And I like these because they're multicolored. see if I can get one out and show you. Um, see that? Can you tell? They're multicolored, not just single, which is so cool. Look, turquoise and dark blue and orange. So I don't have any like that. Those are really neat. Okay. Um, these are some skulls, and I love these. I think these are so cute. Look at these little skulls. Look at their little glowing eyes. <laughs> Those are awesome. <laughs> so cute. Okay, and these are some leaves in AB. They're really pretty, too. Oh, sorry. And these are cubes, like a glass, six millimeter white glass cube. Okay, and then these, I don't know what these are called, let's see, green tinted twist beads, twist glass beads, but I think those are the coolest things ever, and they are twisty. Can you tell, like they, I don't know if you can see it really on the camera, I think you can. Those are really awesome. See, this is what I'm talking about, this just different stuff that I've never seen these before, I love them. And here's some more of them in crystal. Oh, these are awesome. Love those. Okay, 
and then she sent a bunch of seed beads. So I'm not going to go through each seed bead here, but let me just tell you, these right here, I can tell are very uniform and small. They look like 15s, maybe, maybe they're 11s. I can't tell, but look at all these seed beads she sent. And I mean, I use a lot of seed beads, guys, so it's great to get these. These are size eights. These are size sixes. So she literally just sent all different colors, all different sizes. And yeah, I just, I can't even believe this. So but I'm not going to go through each, each color in these because um, there are some pretty colors. I'll pull the bag out and you can kind of see. Look at these, like a raspberry. These are like a burgundy. They're just beautiful colors. But it would take me forever to make a video showing each one. Look at these. So yeah, a huge bag of seed beads that Mia sent here. Okay. And then she sent some acrylic beads. I'm going to show you a few of these as well. These are ovals, like a faceted oval. And these colors are so pretty together. Look at these. So springy or eastery even. Really, really pretty. And I use these acrylic beads on my kids' necklaces a lot because they're acrylic and you don't have to worry about, you know, them being glass and getting broken. But she sent all kinds of these. Look at these acrylic stars. Oh my goodness, those are so cute. Those will be so cute on the kid bracelets or kid necklaces. All of these. I love these. Crackle. These are acrylic yellow pearls. And then, look at these. These are drops. Now, these are crystal. These aren't acrylic. I don't know how I got them mixed up in the acrylics, but those are beautiful. Wow, I'm going to set them aside. She sent, whoops, she sent these little roses. Look at these. And here's another glass one got mixed up. Oh, I love this color. These are cubes. I don't know how I got some of the glass ones mixed in, but those are so pretty. I've had this stuff sitting in my room and trying to film the, wait to film the video and some of it's gotten mixed up. Look at these though. What are these? Round acrylic imitation gemstone. They do look like gemstone. Very pretty. So she sent a ton of really cool things. These are some roses, more of the roses. These I love. They'll be really cute on the kid necklaces. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys some of the different things. Look at those, they look like soccer balls. Um, more of the roses. Those are so pretty. They make cute little girl earrings. These are, what are these? Tubes, just white tubes, how cool. And then look at these. These are um, glass as well. I love those, vitriol. I can't wait, I'm gonna make some earrings out of those. So, tons and tons of beautiful beads in here. All different things. I thought these were really cool. Um, she sent some flat cabs and some rhinestones. Just really a huge variety of stuff. Here's some more of the crystal drops. I guess I did mix in some of these glass ones. I don't know. And these. So, beautiful stuff. And then she sent some metal beads, which I thought were really cool. There's like a copper and then these colored ones. These are like a rose gold. Those are beautiful. Look at these. And then these beautiful colors in metal beads. Okay. She sent this little scoopy thingy, which I think is great. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> She sent an anchor necklace. <laughs> and she sent this beautiful, it's a handbag holder. That's really cool. Um, these little tree of life pendants. I love these. Um, let me open this and show you guys. I thought these were so cute. Look at these. Oh my goodness, aren't they cute? Those are adorable. Those will make really cute earrings. So love those. Um, she sent some. These are closed rings, soldered rings, and these are great to have. These are like bead caps, big ones, so cool. She 
put some streaming stuff. Look at these. These are necklace things. I'll use these for the... I've got to make some more of the um, little um, shoot mustard seed necklaces. I'll use those. These silver bead caps. This is like a little charm bead kind of. It's pretty. It's sparkly. And then she sent some containers. Some earring backs here. Some containers. Aren't these awesome? So I just wanted to thank Mia for all this amazing stuff. I mean, I haven't even gotten it all put away. That's how much stuff, obviously, there is. But I wanted to tell you, Mia, that um, I'm actually starting to make a bunch of jewelry for my church just um, to give away. Like, we have a homeless ministry that we give things to. We have a thrift store. and We sell things in there, and that supports our missions. Um, we're sending a girl um, on a mission trip, we're sending our pastor is going to, I believe, the Philippines here in a couple of weeks. And all that is going to support that stuff. Um, we just do a lot of outreach in our community and stuff. And so a lot of these beads are going to go to help um, all of those things. I'm going to be making jewelry. Oh, we um, take bags to people in the hospital. We take um, stuff to people who've had a death in the family or who've had a birth in the family. Um, just people that are going through life situations, we take things to them and I'm going to be making jewelry to take to those people. So a lot of your stuff is going to be used in there and I just wanted you to know that it's reaching way farther than me. Um, it's actually reaching, going to be reaching a whole lot of people. And so I think that's awesome that you know, you have such a giving heart and a giving spirit, and that's going to be used to reach out to people who are hurting and in need and, you know, homeless people who are lonely and may need some encouragement. So, yeah, um, just wanted you to know that. I appreciate it so much, and it's going to go to good use. It definitely is, and I'm excited about it. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to share Mia's generosity with all of you, and, uh, yeah, what a what a blessing. So, I'm, I'm very thankful, and Mia, you'll definitely be blessed in return, because when you give, it gets given back to you many, many times over. So, all right, everybody, um, that's the end of this video, so you guys have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!